Ready? <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a sip of my drink. Hello, everyone! It's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion video. Some more financial breakdowns, just what everyone wants to enjoy on their days off as, I, uh, as we upload this on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Uh, we are going to go over TV Tokyo, which if you're not aware, TV Tokyo is the network that airs the Yu-Gi-Oh! animes. I believe TV Tokyo has been the means to air Yu-Gi-Oh! since the very beginning. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but obviously how Yu-Gi-Oh! is performing, how they're bringing in money, that is very important in terms of the future, because call me a bit of an old school guy, but if a show or if a product is selling well, there's no reason they're going to stop creating that product, right? I think that, um, I'm Cal, by the way, if you guys don't know me. Um, <laughs> I think that it goes by the motto, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sure. If something's yeah. working, why why change it? Why Absolutely. risk that, like, losing maybe the profit or the sales that you might be already getting? Absolutely. And this comes at a perfect time because there's been kind of a whirlwind br brewing in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community where a lot of people have been telling me that Vrains was canceled because of not selling well, because of low interest, because of bad ratings, and ultimately, even if a show has bad ratings, as long as it's selling and making money, there's probably not much of an incentive to stop the show early. Yeah. I always like to look for evidence, and there was no, not really any basis that Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains was cancelled due to poor performance. Yep. I did a video last week where Vrains is actually in a fan poll, polling in the top 10 of the best anime of the last 365 days, which is very much evidence in my mind that the show was well received mm -hmm. and that the show was enjoyed by many. This is more evidence, more on the financial end of it, that Yu-Gi-Oh! is doing just fine. Yeah, I mean, and I think it's funny how you said a lot of people were saying it was more of a performance reason why it ended early because mm -hmm. people weren't really, didn't really like it. It wasn't getting good reviews. And then right after the show ends, they come out with this fan poll and it's in the top 10 over yeah. some pretty good animes. I mean, I don't watch a lot other than this, Absolutely. but I mean, I just know from hearing from other people that there are a lot of animes it was above that are very highly regarded. Absolutely. Yeah. So to put it in the top 10 in any fan poll, when last year in the same poll, it was 52nd. Okay. It's not like you can chalk it up to, oh, it's just the Yu-Gi-Oh fandom doing amazing. You know, yeah. One Piece has a massive fandom, you know, Naruto, Boruto, massive fandoms. Yep. So, Pokemon. So, I don't know if you can just chalk it up to that. But either way, we're going to get into some really good news in regards to Yu-Gi-Oh! In regards to TV Tokyo's profit. So, the article posted by Anime News Network, and a big reason why I brought Cal on is he is regarded as a financial guru uh, among the best in the world. Forbes actually ranked him as one of the top 100 men under the age of 30 in the financial industry. So, I'm very honored to have a guy like him on and he's going to be able to break down the numbers a little better. Very honored to be here as well. So TV Tokyo's animation division reports increase in profits in first half of fiscal year 2019. TV Tokyo published on Wednesday its earnings for April 1st, 2019 to March 31st, 2020. During the second quarter ending on September 30th, the animation division earned 11.6 billion yen or 16% of the company's total sales, an increase of about 20% from the same period last year. The company cites growth of overseas business as a factor for its animation business's strong performance. The company reported sales, yada yada yada. Uh, sales for the Naruto franchise's games were large in China. As a result, the overseas sales business amounted to 71.1%. Here's the part that's very interesting. TV Tokyo's top anime franchises ranked by sales for its first half of the current fiscal year are as follows. Naruto, Boruto, not a surprising one-two combo. Again, massive fandoms, massive interest in those franchises. And then Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is number okay. three and actually beats out Black Clover and Bleach, two very well-known franchises. The gross profit rankings have Yu-Gi-Oh down at fifth, below Black Clover. Pokemon jumps up to third. They weren't even in total sales. But I look at this, and it's very nice to see that Yu-Gi-Oh is selling at an extremely profitable and successful rate do you see that what do you what do you make of these stats so i think obviously the um being top three in sales is very good very good on its own then backing it up with in profits being in top five it's still very well done i think that puts to tv tokyo and Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole in a good spot because like you said people were saying you know the show wasn't really performing or maybe the game wasn't selling well right but clearly they have a lot of sales. And like you said, it's only behind Naruto and Boruto. Mm -hmm. And then gross profit-wise, maybe they have more expenses than some of the other shows, but they still make it into the top five. Right. 
So I think, I mean, it bodes very well for them overall. Yeah. So what do you make of a show like Yu-Gi-Oh being number three in sales, then mm-hmm. dropping down to five in gross profit? You have Pokemon that wasn't even in the top five in sales, mm-hmm. but still make so much money. Obviously, gross profit is after you take out the expenses. Yeah. Do you just kind of cite this to maybe the animation costing a little more for Yu-Gi-Oh? Maybe the the cards to produce and ship cost a little more? Like, what do you cite to this? Um, So, I would say, one, I think the Yu-Gi-Oh card game is bigger than Pokemon, at least from my general knowledge. Yeah, I, I, think, like I the, think that's probably The factual. card game is more... Yeah. It's more prominent, obviously, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they also play the card game in the anime. Like, right. Pokemon is Pokemon mm-hmm. on, the, on the show. It's not you don't play the Pokemon trading card game on in the anime. Right, that's true. So, And I also think that... I think the animation in Yu-Gi-Oh! is better. Which sure. probably makes it more expensive. Mm-hmm. And maybe takes a little bit longer to produce. So you're paying employees more money to produce it. It also... They might be using better technology for that animation. You know, and again, with the cards, if it's a bigger game... They're producing more cards, which helps with your sales, but it also adds on expenses. Yeah. So I think that's where Pokemon, maybe their expenses are a little bit lower. Maybe it's the animation. Maybe it's the card game. I know mm-hmm. there's a... I mean, they also have, like, the video games and stuff. I mean, they have the new one coming out, so you would assume yeah. that might boost them up. In, Dual uh, links could boost them. In sales, yeah. yeah. So I think... Uh, but I think mainly it's maybe you give us a little more expenses because of the quality of the animation and the... Just the wide expansion that the that the card game has all over the world. The main takeaway, you're you're the financial advisor of TV Tokyo in this hypothetical. Okay. The the CEO comes to you and says, Naruto and Boruto. Obviously, if you don't know, Boruto is the son of Naruto. Yeah, so yes. same same family. Yep. Literally. Uh Naruto and Boruto are our top two IPs. We're mm-hmm. keeping those. Yep. What are we keeping after Naruto and Boruto? Definitely. There's no way you get rid of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I mean, it's the number one after those two shows in terms of sales. Well, that shows its popularity. Right. So absolutely, you can't get rid of something like Yu-Gi-Oh because even though it's, you know, fifth, which is still not bad in the gr- in the gross profit, if it's the third most popular, then you're obviously doing something right. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, you know... Third in sales, but it's probably, you know, it's probably diminishing and nobody really pays attention to it. Yeah. So I think absolutely it's not something that you can even consider getting rid of, which is probably why they announced the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 so early. Yeah, that could be a good reason. And, right, it's important to have a network that's going to air your show. Yes. TV Tokyo is going to, they might even be able to strike a better deal with TV Tokyo. Like, hey, we're doing so much for your channel. Mm -hmm. We, We want you to air our anime at a cheaper price than we agreed to previously. There might uh-huh. even be some wiggle room for Konami to kind of negotiate that. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. agree. I think that if you see the popularity with it, it kind of weighs in. It's That's the demand. Like, people want to see it. So, And if so many people are watching it, you're like, hey, you know, we could bring it elsewhere maybe for a better price. And all those people are going to come with us. Yeah. Because... A lot of people don't care that it's on a certain channel. They just want to watch the show right. they want to watch. Well, especially for us, because like we are um, watching it on Crunchyroll. Yes. Hopefully yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 is a simulcast. But yeah. any person that's not in Japan, it doesn't really matter what network it airs on. Absolutely. Like, we're going to watch it by some form of media. So, yep. yeah, interesting. But good new, good sign for Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, that's Absolutely. the main takeaway. Absolutely. Now, there's more numbers here. And I, I've already kind of crunched them. And I've divulged a very good... And I'm going to put it on screen for you guys right now. I'm sure you guys are already kind of you know, picking the numbers apart. You're a financial expert. I want <laughs> you to do your best with these numbers okay. and tell me what you get from them. All right, so let's see. So <laughs> if Dylan puts this up, everyone will realize that it is <laughs> all in Japanese and I have no idea what this says. <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try this. So the triangle obviously means change. I learned that in math long ago. Sure. Maybe it was algebra. Yeah. It looks like a lot of percentage change in the positive direction. However, I don't know what's changing in a positive <laughs> direction. <laughs> Expenses. <laughs> so, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, one's 33% increase, one's 37, one's 33, one's 46. So right. it's like, you know, if sales are rising higher than expenses, guess what? More profit. Absolutely. So well, that's the sheet that was sourced and basically where all this data is coming from. So if you really want more source past this article, <laughs> it's on screen. I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. I'll have the article linked as well. But we also, like probably six months ago, analyzed Konami's financial statements. Yes, we did. And they were all on the rise too. Yep. So the game is selling well. The IP of Yu-Gi-Oh! is selling well. There's nothing in these numbers or in the reception of Reigns that says to me, 
Reigns was canceled because it wasn't liked. Do you no. get that vibe at all? You know, it's funny because from I feel like from the, the perspective of maybe talking to you a lot and people that would reach out to you, there were some people that didn't like the show and kind of based that as the reason of why it was cut short. Right. And people were saying, eh, you know, it wasn't the most, you know, well-liked Yu-Gi-Oh, so they cut it short and figured, you know, let it end and we'll start on a new one. Yeah. But I, as we know now, the fan poll had it in the top ten, so obviously it wasn't a, like, the sh- obviously the show wasn't not liked. Right. For it to be in the top ten, a lot of people had to watch and a lot of people had to want to vote, meaning they yeah. liked the show enough. Yeah, because there's a lot of people, I'm sure, me included, I didn't vote in this poll. I didn't vote in you the poll vote. either. And, no. we, and we enjoyed the show. Of course, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that enjoy the show also that don't vote in the poll. Sure, sure. So that only means that number is probably higher than it really was. Right. And but again, that could be for all the shows, but... Yeah. And that's on the reception side. On the profit side, things are going up. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. is very comfortable right now, I'd say. It's in very good standing. Yeah, very good standing. It's yes. selling really well, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 7... We welcome you, man. We cannot wait. Yeah, it'll be a... I mean, I'm excited. Yes, I am too. I'm yeah, sure everyone absolutely. is. Absolutely. Cal, thank you so much for coming on, my hey, friend. Hey, man. Anytime. The financial anytime. expert. <laughs> Love this guy. And a big thank you to everyone who chilled out and watched this video. And a thank you to my platinum tier patrons, Alexa Baker, Glenn McCookin, Jorge Carrillo, James Rose, Horace May, Goosey Q, Vincent Vanderveen, Panther J, Smith620, Frost Reaper, Jorge Leone, and Blue Maiden28. And to my diamond tier patrons, Jesse Wood, Latrell Smith, and Sean. And to my Egyptian god tier patrons, Joss Rivers and Melinda Phantom. Thank you to everyone who is a patron, who is a channel member, and who just watches and supports my videos. Would not be here without you. Thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you down below, and I hope you have an, an amazing, amazing day. day. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man.